today on our Secrets of Shelby County episode four or five. <laughs> um, we're going to take you to see some of the cool things in Veterans Park in Alabaster. And you may have been out here in Lake Villastead. Most people park over there, go to the baseball fields, go to the little kid playground, and then you're going to miss out on some of the really cool stuff. Today we're going to focus on the dog park, but also while we're out here in the parking lot, I'll show you right over there is also a skate park. We have a skateboard park and... I guess you could roller skate in it. Do people roller skate in it? Maybe. But skateboard. <laughs> but tell us about how did Alabaster get the dog park, West? Okay, so um, the dog park is a Beneful Foundation dog park, and it was the second one ever in the United States. And there's less than 20 that have been completed now. And it was a $500,000 project that they put Whoa. in here. And the reason that they came is they Beneful, the dog food, did a contest, the essay contest. And a girl who graduated from Thompson High School and worked at um, the, Humane Society. the Humane Society, she wrote an essay entry and she won. And so um, HGTV came and they dedicated the dog park and they donated the $500,000 to build um, the dog park, which is top of the line, You're gonna super love it. nice. And dogs love it. Mm -hmm. So it's really good. something yeah. good to point out to your clients if they're coming to Alabaster, Montevallo, tell them um, something that is that right. is dog nice. Dog that that's right. Look, you can walk your dog just on the trails, and there are a lot of walking. Lil said she didn't need to come because she walks on these trails every day. This is a great place to go walk because look at the setting. How pretty is this? And I don't know, I'll, we'll have to look up, but we'll email you how long the trail is if you walk yeah. on this. But it is I think beautiful. it's two miles, I think. Oh, if, great. And there is a dog, if somebody's got their dog out here in the dog park today, so y'all be able to see yeah. a live action. And it backs up to Park 4 subdivision on that side. So if y'all are showing people houses in Park 4, it backs up to the subdivision and Park 4 village on that the side. Gate. You're really supposed to get in and close the gate so the dogs don't get out. Hey, buddy. Yeah, there you go. Close that gate. Okay, so all these people came to see you. This is AstroTurf. This is extra hard, so if you are us, bringing you? your dog to play on a rainy day, he's not going to get his paws all messed up and nasty. Um, hey, can I get a picture with right. you? Right. Yeah, they go swimming, yeah, come which in. my dog might be liable to do. There is, a, like right over there, you can see there's a, like a baby pool that they can fill up. The dogs can get in that baby pool and play. There's a covered pavilion for the people to sit. You got stuff. Yeah, you got a splash pad for the summertime so the dog can pull off. And you got all kind of little obstacle courses. And then Wes can tell you from the video I sent him, like on Sunday afternoon, there's liable to be 10 or 15 dogs out here. And they'll be running and everybody's having a great time. So does this mean little dogs can't come over here? Right. This is the big dog side. It's a great spot. And there are people that will be sitting here on every car while their dogs are out playing. Yeah, y'all have a dog park at this house. Yeah. Her on the yard is at home. Yeah. Right. But honestly, if they do, Cooper loves coming and playing. Hi, then he's going to jump. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I lost her. Okay. 